Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. It is currently October 2nd, uh, Friday, almost one week post show. And you guys, today we're doing a full day of eating of my reverse diet. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick because I'm super hungry and I need to eat. So we have one and a half cups of egg whites with some spinach in there. And then we have three whole eggs, three whole eggs. Got some mustard got some sriracha on there. And then of course our wonderful bowl cream of rice. We have 67 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of blueberries, some cinnamon and stevia drops in there. Of course, I have all my vitamins as well. But you guys, like I said, I'm really hungry, so I'm going to get this down and then I'll talk to you guys after. All right, so as you just saw, I showed you guys meal one. Like I said, I needed to eat because I was hungry as hell. But today we woke up at 195.7. My body's kind of been floating around like the high 195 mark for the past couple days. Um, Obviously, Monday I woke up and I was like 200 pounds, but that was from eating over the weekend. So we dropped basically four and a half pounds of water weight. So all that's gone, but still staying in good condition post show. Still got the abs, as you can see. It's a little bit of water, but besides that, still staying lean post show. We we're not getting fat, none of that. So like I said, that's why we got back on track Monday with the reverse diet. Um, I emailed Coach my updates this morning. Sent those off to him, so we will wait to get have him get back and see what the plan is for this next week, because uh, check-ins are every Friday now. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to take through a full day eating today. Today, I have a cheat meal, because it's our second leg day today, so we get our poster cheat meal after legs. So, stay tuned for that. But right now, I'm going to chill out, get some stuff done, so I'll see you guys here soon for meal number two, which will be my pre-workout meal. Alright, hello people. So, it's currently a little bit past 11, 11.05. We've got our meal number two right here. I'm gonna set you guys up like this. So, meal number two is as follows. We have eight ounces of chicken breast, eight ounces of sweet potato, 75 grams of asparagus, seven grams of olive oil, and then we put a little bit of our good old yellow mustard on there because you guys know me, I'm mustard man. I love my mustard. Hey guys, pre-workout meal, all mixed up. Go ahead and chow down on this right now. I feel pretty good today. Uh, I eat this, go upload a video right now actually. Um, I'm gonna be uploading the one day out video right now. And then also the show day video will be up by then too. So if you guys are watching this video and you haven't seen the one day out video or the show day video or even the two day out video, go watch those first and then Come back and watch this full day eating video. But plan is, you guys, I'm gonna eat this. Go smash some legs. Um, not filming the workout today. I just want to enjoy it. Not have to worry about filming at all. I'll be filming as the weeks go on, um, and then into our bulking series we're gonna do. I'll talk about that a little bit later. But because we're still doing our reverse diet right now for the next three to four weeks, so. Technically, we're not really off-season mode yet, just because we're reverse dieting. But as soon as we hit our off-season, which like I said, will be probably the third to fourth week of October. So basically, the end of October is when we'll really start our off-season. Um, I will be doing an off-season bulking series for you guys. Or just a bulking series, not off-season. But it will be an off-season series, bulking season. Um, lean bulking, that is, because we're not getting fat. So I'm gonna keep the abs. You gotta stay nice and nice and lean. See that, guys? Stay lean in your off season. Not like it'd be like shredded lean, but just once the abs go away, that's how you know you got too fat. So we'll be keeping the abs. Um, but yeah, as of right now, I still get I get one cheat meal a week during my reverse. Um, I'm not gonna go too hard on the cheat meals right now um, during my reverse diet. It's so like today I'm going to get sushi and then I'm going to have a Wookiee and a cookie after. But once we're like off season mode and we're done with the reverse, we really start to push the food and everything. That's when cheat meals going to be fun. That's when I'll do like two burgers, thing of fries, like a whole blondie or brownie. That's when I'm going to pretty handle my cheat meals. But for right now, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm only going to eat a little bit at sushi. And I've got to be somewhat mindful right now during our reverse. Because we're wanting to maximize as much muscle gain as we can while putting on the least amount of body fat as possible. 
So I'm gonna eat right now. And then after this, you guys will see me at sushi with my boy Prob Jot. I'll see you guys next at sushi. Look who's here. Ooh. Wait, this is yours, right? Yes. All right, so I know I'm filming this on my phone right now, but I have to go train a client and I'm kind of late right now, but right now we have our meal number four, which you guys just saw. We had a meal three poster gachi meal, which was sushi. I didn't have any sweets today um, just because I'm still reverse dieting. So I need to be mindful with my cheat meals. Um, but as of next week, we'll start to add back in our sweets. So today was just sushi, but I'll be able to have my treats very soon. Like I said, just gotta be mindful on the reverse diet. I can't go all out with my cheat meals right now just because my body's still pretty sensitive to everything. Um, but after we're done reverse dieting and we're officially in our off season, that's where we're gonna have some pretty crazy fucking cheat meals. That's when I have fucking burger, fries, brownies, all that good stuff. But we got our cream of rice, 67 grams cream of rice with 24 grams of peanut butter. And then we have our two scoops of isotope with the scoop of glutamine we made into a little protein sludge. So I'm gonna eat this up on my way to my client and I'll see you guys for meal number five. guys as i was saying meal number five from earlier that was eight ounces of chicken breast 180 grams of white basmati rice 75 grams of broccoli and then we had seven grams of our um olive oil and then you guys saw before that meal or we had a poster got cheat meal way earlier which was just sushi today and like i said um once i'm actually in my off season that's when i can have more fun with my cheat meals just got to be careful right now with the reverse diet for the next three to five or not three to five weeks for the next four to five weeks um just because our body is sensitive just to everything um so we have to be careful with the cheat meals that we're doing just because our body was in that kind of starvation mode for the whole time or the starvation mode for prep um so it's going to want to hold on to all the food that we're eating so that's why we're just taking it easy with the cheat meals that's why i only did just sushi today and i didn't completely gorge myself till i was stuffed yeah i was full but I had two clean rolls and then one like quote unquote dirty roll and then the rest was just nigiri so I didn't go all out with like six seven rolls like I usually would. So just the sushi for today and then next week I'm going to be doing like a chicken burger with like sweet potato fries. Usually I do like a nice greasy beef burger with cheese and stuff but it's just going to be chicken, no cheese, just like pickles, lettuce, onions and then sweet potato fries. Again, I said I was going to have sweets then but we're going to keep that to a minimum during this reverse. But you guys just wait once off season comes around and our systems are back to normal um, our body is actually knowing that the food's being used as fuel and it's not going to store any of it as fat um, so once off season comes around that's when we will definitely definitely be having a lot of fun with our cheat meals like i said we'll have multiple burgers but you guys anyways come around off season we will definitely be having a lot of fun with our cheat meals once this reverse diet's done like i said that's when i can have like multiple burgers, just a bunch of fried food, our brownies, blondies, wookies, cookies, all that good stuff. So, so guys, we have our final meal of the day, which consists of five rice cakes. Um, it has, or there are five rice cakes, or seven grams of carbs each, so 35 grams of carbs from rice cakes, 32 grams of peanut butter, and then we have our little protein, um, frosting i can't think my, my brain's still like in prep mode i had sushi today and i was like oh my god i feel guilty but i needed it i needed it after legs and we got back tomorrow so protein uh frosting one scoop of emery light and then we have one scoop of glutamine and yeah you guys that's a full day eating on my reverse diet when the diet changes um i will definitely fill you guys in on it um i sent coach my check-ins today like i said we are up four point four pounds from show so basically four and a half pounds from show so six days post show we're up four and a half pounds um our body's still holding on to a little bit of water but um he said we're going to keep the food the same this next week keep the cardio the same um so the food's staying right under that 3700 calorie mark uh so our body can drop off the rest of that water weight so come around next friday for check-ins i'm assuming i'm going to weigh in at the same weight or around the same weight around like 195 195 and a half 
So hey, as I said, I'll keep you updated with my meals, but I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.